welcome back to another LSPDFR patrol. If you're not familiar with LSPDFR, it's a modification for GTA 5 on PC that allows you to become a police officer. Today we're looking at a brand new pack by Officer Tej. It's his 2004 LAPD Suburban pack. This pack comes with three different variations on the 2004 Suburban. And uh, today we're taking a look at one of those. So the light bar featured is the MX-700. We've got this pretty cool uh, bumper guard up front that wraps around the entire front. Uh, we've got our spotlight. It does say K9. We're not going to be K9 officer today, but um, this is the only kind of stock livery that comes with the download, so we're using it. Uh, the glitch with the taillight seems to be fixed. There, when this model was first released, one of the taillights continued to stay on. I do notice there doesn't appear to be a rear license plate. Bothers me a little bit, but just a minor detail. Look on the inside of the car. We, uh, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty dang basic in here, but we do have this cool sunroof. We've got a gun mount in here. No police laptop, so we'll use our tablet if we need to. Hands match up on the steering wheel fine. See down there in the center console, we've got controls for our lighting setup as well. So let's take a look at that lighting setup. So stage one is our secondary lights, our traffic advisor. Stage two kind of puts a steady burn uh, on the front and activates some more lights. And stage three activates our light bar. So I'm not sure if this particular light bar is supposed to be rotary style or not. I don't know if I completely installed it correctly. Uh, you guys will have to let me know, but that's how it's working as of now. Not, not to say it can change in the future. So I made some pretty large changes to the game. I downgraded my GTA 5 to the 1180 version of the game. This is pretty much the last game version I could get stable frame rate while playing with uh, the mods I used. I also went ahead and removed two of BJ's mods, including on-scene backup and traffic stop backup, and that has appeared to pretty much eliminate most of the glitchiness. I also reinstalled cheap call-out, so we'll test it out and see how it performs today. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me 1041, 10 8. Attention, this is Dispatch. Citizens reporting an illegally parked vehicle on McDonald Street near the Dollar Pill store in Strawberry in Davis. Respond code 2. Roger. Dispatch Lincoln 18, copy that. Gonna report some illegally parked vehicle. For whatever reason, they want us to respond code 2 to the scene. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know what the urgency is, but uh, we'll check it out for sure. It's gonna be somewhere in Davis. Yeah, it just seems like particular mods eat up more frame rate. I guess they're just doing a lot of processes behind the scenes. So if you're ever having issues with um, frame rate just try to remove some of your lspdfr mods i wish i could keep them all honestly because those are two really cool uh lspdfr mods that add for get a bit more realism into the game but it is what it is oh we're I also noticed some weird shadowing going on there seems like another glitch oh yeah we got a car all on the sidewalk Dispatch link in 18. We're going to be on scene here. I don't know why the code 2 response didn't really seem necessary to me, but hey, that was dispatch's call. So I'm just going to put on my traffic advisor here and uh, we're going to investigate what's going on. It's like a car just parked up here on the uh, sidewalk of McDonald Street. Dispatch Lincoln 18. Can I get a 1028? Point number is going to be 84 George Zebra Henry 155. Target license plate. 
Stolen five, car. A possible stolen vehicle. Proceed with caution. All right, copy that dispatch. Let me see if I can use my police tablet here. Let me grab it out of the car real quick. All right. All right, let's pull this up. I want to see who the registered owner is. Be under vehicle database. Uh, I guess we'd have to do a manual entry. That's fine. All right, what we're going to do here, I'm just going to get a tow truck out here to go ahead and pound this thing. Uh, and we're going to get in contact with the registered owner. Um, I am going to do an inventory of it. It's stolen, so I've got uh, probable cause. And uh, pretty much everything can be seen in plain sight there, except what's in the trunk. So let's see if there's anything illegal in there. I don't want to be transporting a bomb into the impound lot. We got a bottle of suspicious liquid. Interesting. And a bong. All right. So we've removed this suspicious liquid. We're going to test it. We're going to go ahead and call for a tow truck out here. Take away the mamba. It's possible that uh, somebody who ever stole it just kind of ditched it there trying to get rid of it. Let's go ahead and test this suspicious liquid. <laughs> Curious if it's um, a legal item. Yep, the liquid. All right, it's a liquid, so I want to start with maybe LSD first. Just kind of go down the list, testing it for a wide variety of things. Negative, okay, PCB. Negative. Trifentanyl, maybe there's a liquid form of that. Not too sure. Okay, yep, we got an orange color positive for fentanyl, so we did find um, drugs in the vehicle. This will go ahead and be turned into a police station. Uh, pretty much that's all we can do, and uh, we'll get in contact with the registered owner, let them know we found their car parked on McDonald Street. Sounds like a citizen called it in uh, about it being parked on the sidewalk. Dispatch will go ahead and be code four with this call. Clear code four, Adam. No further units required. You can go ahead, show us back to eight. One, Lincoln, 18. We have a 1099 on Del Perro Freeway, east of um, Textile City Bus Depot, La Mesa. Copy that, we're moving right now. Roger that. Dispatch, Lincoln, 18, copy that. We're gonna be responding code two to a call of backup. Another officer's on a traffic stop and they're requesting some backup for another unit in the area. So we're gonna go ahead and respond to this one and see what's going on. Looks like they're on the interstate, perhaps. Yep. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> I hate these. They're so tricky. Dispatch Lincoln 18, we're gonna be 1023 on soon. I'm gonna put up some cones or something before we all die from getting hit from traffic. All right, let's make contact with the other officers, see what we got going on. Hey, how's it going? Straight to the road is notorious for its many collisions. Driver of the vehicle is using their mobile phone. Please watch my back while I write out a ticket. Absolutely. Let's push your door there. Is 
This guy's getting a ticket for using his phone while driving. Obviously, that's illegal. It's a safety hazard. Thank you. Distraction. And uh, off he goes. Attention, this is dispatch. All right, we're all good. No further units required. All right, sounds good. You can go ahead and remove the cones, and uh, we'll get back in the car. Dispatch Lincoln 18. We'll go ahead and be code 4 with that scene. Show us back to Nate. This is Dispatch. We have an incident involving shots fired. Over San Vitus Boulevard, north of a uh, Rockford Hill subway, and Burton, respond code 3. Roger, dispatch 27 on route to a Cisco 3. Roger. Dispatch, copy that. Your reports of gunshots in the area. I'm hearing multiple gunshots. Let me go ahead and block traffic coming down here. I investigate. Dispatch Lincoln 18, I'm gonna be on scene. Can I get a couple other units in the area? Where are these shots coming from? It's so hard to tell. Multiple shots in the area. Sounds like it's coming from over there. Yep, we got an officer taking fire. I think somebody's right up here. Dispatch Lincoln 18. Suspect has been neutralized. We are code four. Suspect neutralized. No additional officers needed. It was a female firing shots in the Carcer Way San Vititis Boulevard area. Could we go ahead and roll EMS to our scene? Attention all units. Medical aid requested on Carcer Way West. Put up some uh, police Plaza signage. Burton. Officers report a civilian shot. Dispatch units from. Um, Rockford Hills Fire Department, an ambulance requested from uh, Rockford Hills Units Response Company. Dispatch call you okay? Do you Lincoln. get hit or anything? We've got nope. a stolen police vehicle on okay. Chad Vitus Boulevard, north of We actually um, didn't even fire off our own gun. We got call outs of Attention. This is dispatch. gunshots in the area. We came up here and we were investigating. I was trying to kind of inhibit the flow of traffic up here because I didn't know what was going on. And uh, one of the backup officers actually engaged with this female. So we got EMS on scene fairly quickly. We're gonna see if she can be uh, revived or not. If not, we'll get the corner out here, of course. I don't believe anyone I else was hit. I don't know what she was firing at. All right, suspect appears to uh, be alive at this point in time. They're gonna be transported to the hospital. Of course, they're gonna be under arrest, but they will be treated and hopefully we'll be able to stand trial at some point here in the future. I'm just gonna walk with them, make sure she doesn't try anything. Typically, they'd be handcuffed there to the stretcher, so they wouldn't try to escape. All units, code four. All units, code four. Copy that. All right, she survived. We're going to walk back down to the car here. I left it in the middle of the road, like I said, trying to block a little bit of traffic. Oh, did somebody so get a vehicle crash here? Hey, are you okay? Go ahead, step oh, out of the vehicle. Ma'am, are you okay? Did you crash because you heard the gunshots? Okay. This vehicle, it's not gonna be drivable. It's not safe at this point. Can I see your ID, Good please? Luck. I'll help you out, okay? We'll Thanks. get you a tow truck. All right, uh, Nikita. Just run her information. 
just verify the car's not stolen and we'll probably call her a taxi i don't like the idea of her driving this i think she got panicked she got wedged up in here between this uh utility box and the tree also i don't want her ramming into this thing Suspect thing could cause damage or explosion one zebra, Frank, young, okay. one zero three, not her car no, but not a big deal not stolen or anything she checked out pretty clean and clear all right ma'am i'm gonna get you a taxi out here okay or an uber how about that and we'll get it to the destination we're gonna go ahead and get your vehicle towed it's just it's not safe and the Uber's driving on the wrong side of the road. All right, ma'am. You have a good one. Vehicle just kind of despawned on us, so that's fine. All right, let's get back in the car. Uh, it did appear it was able to block a little bit of traffic, so that worked out fairly well. Dispatch Weekend 18 will be code 4 off this scene. Looks like the motorcycle in front of me is missing a license plate. I'm going to go ahead and pull him over. This past week, week in 18, we're going to be off San Vitus and Spanish Avenue with the motorcycle without a license plate. Okay, I'm uh, out of my unit checking a trail. We'll advise. I think he's uh, good, probably going to turn, take a left here. Yeah, that's a problem. You need a license plate in order to operate a vehicle. Oh, is he stopped? Dispatch week in 18. Correction, we're going to be on Spanish Avenue uh, at the intersection of San Vitus with um, motorcycle without a eel license plate. All right, let's go ahead and make contact with the driver here. Hey. All right, traffic stop mode is engaged. We notice the smell of alcohol. That's not a good thing to be smelling. How you doing today, sir? Do you know why I pulled you over? Well, I'm uh, Officer Carson with the LSPD. The reason I'm pulling you over is you don't have a license plate on your vehicle. I took the plates off because I think it looks better. Okay, well that's not a valid reason for not having plates. Can I go ahead and see your uh, license and proof of insurance, please? All right, thank you. Uh, where are you coming from today? See if he's coming from a bar or something like that. My house, duh. Okay, where are you headed to? Just looking to have a good time, officer, okay. Uh, could explain the drinking. Is the address on your license current? I don't know. Let me go home and check real quick. Okay, very funny. Is this your vehicle? Do you own it? Yep, okay. All right, you hang tight, sir. I'll be right back with you. I'm going to pull the uh, police tablet out here. Run some information. All right, just like that. Control zero, pull up that tablet. All right, so... Julio is going to be his name. He is valid. He's not won it. He's got one citation for driving the bus lane. Uh, our main cause for concern here is going to be the odor of alcohol. So we're probably going to do some sobriety test. See if uh, comes back failing those tests. All right, um, Julio, have you been drinking at all today? Okay, the reason I asked, I'm getting a pretty strong odor of alcohol coming off your breath. Would you mind consenting to some um, sobriety test? All right, perfect. All right, the first one we're gonna do is a horizontal glaze. So what we're gonna need you to do is go ahead, Hi. step off of your vehicle for me. And let's do this horizontal glaze test. I'm gonna have a pin here. I need you to follow it with your eyes. Don't move your head. Get closer to the pad. Okay. 
All right. All right, off you go. Hey. Thanks. All right. Oh, so let's do this test here. And he fell that one. Hey. All right. We're going to do a walk and turn. All right. What you're going to do, you're going to take 10 steps in a line, heel to toe, turn around. 10 steps back. I want you to count it out loud for me. Thanks. You can do it right in front of me. Oh, we're noticing a little bit of staggered walk there. Yeah, that's going to be a fail. All right. Last one. Do you consent to a breathalyzer test? Okay. Let's go ahead and do this breathalyzer test. Um, just blow like you're blown into a balloon. Yep. Okay. Wait up! Go ahead and place your hands behind your back, okay? You ain't never getting out of prison. You're gonna be under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol. You're about twice the legal limit. All right, you have anything illegal on you I need to know about? All right, I'm gonna search your person and your bike, all right? Is this really happening? Yes, sir. Um, unfortunately, you've got a very high BAC level. Can't allow you to be driving around like this. All right, you just got a pet collar. So let's go ahead and place them in the vehicle. All right, go ahead, watch your head. I'm gonna search your bike as well. It's gonna be impounded to the uh, police impound lot. Get wow. out of the car, Hold sir. Up. This is uh, this has been a arrest. common glitch here. Spanish Avenue and West Vinewood. And this was stop the pet in interaction plus. Roger. So next time, I'm just gonna get transport out here. Turn. Let's go ahead and write up his charges real quick while he's in the area. It's just gonna be for DUI today. So traffic driving under the influence. There we go. All right, Let's search this bike too. Yeah, that's such an annoying glitch. Bag of pills. We're gonna have to test these pills. This batch, we're gonna need a flatbed for a motorcycle on Spanish Avenue. Thanks so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. That car is running into that police car. All right, we're going to store the pills and we're going to test to see what these pills might possibly contain. And that is an LSP to far crash. So that will have to be tested back at the station. All right, deputies, thank you so much for watching today's patrol. I do appreciate it. That's going to conclude it. If you have any questions or feedback, you want to see a specific vehicle or call out, please let me know down in the comment below, and I'll see you guys on the next patrol.